Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I will give you a tutorial on how to put the candy cane gift box together from Scrap Diva Design. I think this is a must have in your stash. I will be using some different pattern papers for my video today. And yeah, let's just get started here. I cut all of the base pieces out and you can see that I am attaching it to the base itself and for the lower part of my gift box, I'll, um, that part that will be the bottom of my box, I am putting uh, the sort of teeth here, you can see it on uh, my screen now, on the inside of the box so it will be a little bit smaller. For my second one, I will keep them to the outer part. And you can see here, I actually messed up. I will have two parts at the same way. So I will end up off camera creating them, but you will get all of the pieces for creating them uh, the correct way. So here you can see I'm doing it the correct way. I'm just attaching this to the outer part. You can see the one already done has the teeth on the inside. This took me some while just to attach everything. It wasn't hard and um, at all to do it. It was just uh, a little bit time consuming. For decoration you have a ton of pieces. Uh, I used the one with scallops and the one with like the candy cane and I cut it out of some mirror cardstock or satin mirror cardstock maybe. It's a very beautiful red color, perfect for Christmas projects and it tied very nicely with my pattern paper that I used for the outer part of the box. I decorated the, the back side of my, my box as well just to make it a little bit more cohesive and beautiful on both parts. You can see the inside isn't that beautiful, but we have a layering piece for that one as well. I'm just trying to fit this together. It worked out nicely. And then I will decorate it with some flowers. I believe these are poncerias and they come from Santa Boot Mini Album. I just attach them with some liquid glue. I offset the panels here and I had all the three layers. And then for the center part, I use some gold cardstock. This is gold matte cardstock from Altenew. It's one of my all time favorite specialty cardstock. I use it a ton. And I also had a bubble in the center of these, but I will attach that later on in this video. I also cut the sprigs. You can see I, I for one of my layers or one of my flowers, I decided to have a smaller flower and decided to not have the last um, sort of petals attached to make it appear a little bit smaller than the other flowers. That is just a trick that I like to use if I want to have um, like one flower that is smaller than the other ones. My sprigs here I can just tuck behind my floral arrangement that I popped up with some foam and that pretty much finished off our first box. I think this turned out super cute and on the inside of this I will take um, just a white piece of paper to cover up all of those teats. There is actually a larger one, you could have used that instead if you like. I just wanted something to make this look beautiful on the inside. So that was pretty much it and that is how easy this box is to close up and create. And I will show you another example here in a second. I just wanted to give you a close up on how this looked, uh, looks and how you can carefully take it apart. This is real time so you can see how that looks. And if you like to have another piece of paper inside that would be totally fine. So for this one I used the Simple Stories um, a feeling frosty collection it's an only one and I just cut it out um, a couple of times uh, with different pattern papers for the top I used the scallops once more and there is another piece that you can see it looks um, sort of like small um, pieces that you can like tie a ribbon behind it maybe or something like that it's just a cute decoration look piece and I will use it and have a bow on top. This comes from the gingerbread bow set and I'm just using the smallest of the bows here in the coordinating pattern paper on top and for the bottom part of this I am just using um, solid cardstock. I could have used the pattern paper as well but I didn't and of course I had some gold mirror cardstock to the back um, 
or the backing paper for this and to make my life a little bit easier I used hot glue to attach all of this together. I also messed up here a little bit. I will attach this to the front instead, making my life a little bit easier. <laughs> and then I can just wrap it around my bow. For the center here, I will go ahead and attach a little heart. Um, this is um, something I saw one of the other designers do. I believe they use sort of not glitter like I'm doing here. This is a mixture that I had from Trinity Stamps that I had in my stash forever. <laughs> uh, but I saw they do this with liquid glue and then some sort of candy looking bits, bits and pieces. I thought that was really cute so I decided to do my own take on that one. Uh, but go ahead and check out the other designers. They are so talented and they always inspire me a ton when I'm creating with Scrap Diva Designs products. So I use that is just a hands up. And my bow I attach to uh, the lower part of the candy cane. And now I will just attach these together. I have a, a easier time putting these together if I start off with the sort of the bent part of the candy cane and then the uh, sort of straight part. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and got inspired to create something with the new candy cane uh, gift box uh, from Scraptiva Design. I will have links down below for all of the products that I use in this video and until next time have a great day. Bye!